Hi, I'm here with Adil from Wolf Speed, and in front of us is a silicon carbide charging circuit that Wolf Speed put together. Uh, Adil, tell us a little bit about what we have here mm -hmm. and some of the technology involved. Sure. First of all, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Adil Salman, and I'm the product marketing engineer at Wolf Speed, where I'm leading the portfolio of MOSFETs. So here we are today, we have an off-port charger arrangement that is using our full speed silicon carbide MOSFETs. So it has two stages, one is the PSC stage and the other is the DC to DC LLC stage. So like basically we were trying to say why silicon carbide technology is better than the silicon technology. So that's our main goal and uh, that's what we are trying to do. Okay, can you tell us a little bit about the advantages of silicon carbide? Yeah, silicon carbide basically is a wide band gap technology. You will have like better thermals, you will have like low switching losses, you have more efficiency. And apart from that, we have a high reliability data available that will uh, more trust for our customers. So these are the main advantages that we have for silicon carbide. Motors. Okay. If you're going to try and do this with a silicon IGBT, how big would this be? It will be, I will say, double or triple size of that uh, whole equipment. Yep. Wow. And uh, what would be the, the uh, efficiency compared to what you did in silicon? Uh, well, first of all, IGBTs are pretty bulky, as we understand, and they cannot switch faster. Our devices can go even to one megahertz frequencies, so that's a better advantage. As you increase the frequency, then you reduce the size of magnetics. So that's why IGBTs are not right now is not the ideal candidate as compared to the silicon carbide technology. So that's why I will say like I will go towards silicon carbide technology for more efficient conversion. What do you see as the main applications for this? So the main application, especially for the EV charging applications, for electric vehicle traction industry, for locomotive industry, and even for the power system industry, a lot of people do that. And especially if you go to like lower voltages, like 900 and 1000 volts, a lot of server power supply and telecom customers also use our products. I see. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a very interesting technology, so I yep, appreciate you taking us through that. Sure, sure.